creating an edit can be pretty time consuming. So today we'll try to create a full TikTok edit within only five minutes of time. And by the end of this video, I will hopefully have something that doesn't seem like it's been edited on CapCut. And the rules are the following. I have to start completely from scratch. There's no preparation at all. Also, I am not allowed to use any animation presets that I created before making this edit. And to bring in some more suspense, for every minute that I surpass from the original five, I will have to give away one premium preset from my shop to one of you guys. And the time will start right now. So let's start by opening a new composition like this. And uh, then obviously we have to import our footage. I want to start by marking all the beat drops because that's the most important part to know when our clips are changing. So I'm going to do that by opening up the audio amplitude. Let's open this up. And now by looking at the spikes, we can tell where roughly the beat drops. So this is a huge help. Let's listen to it once. Okay, there's one here. And we got another one here, I'm guessing, by the spike. And we got one here. And then there's one here. And from here, we're going to loop the audio. Yep. That's perfect, then we don't have to do so many clips, hopefully. I'm gonna save the project real quick. Just name this some random stuff, and now we have to search out the clips. So let's double click onto the scene pack. I already have this one scene in mind that I wanna use for the intro. Let me just find it. Bro, I don't have time, it takes too long. Okay, right there we have it. We start walking like this, and we're gonna cut to here, and then obviously, here we're gonna start with the next clips. But wait, to bring some more heat into it, after every minute that passes, I have to stop whatever I'm doing and skip to the next editing step. So I have to make sure to do all the editing steps in the right order, because once a minute passes, there's no going back. Okay, having this in the back of my mind, I obviously have to re-strategize doing the whole edit. So let's hurry while searching out the clips because I have only one minute to do so. Okay, we're gonna use this one, this one is good, but I don't wanna use bad clips, you guys get me? Because clips are the most important stuff for your edit. Otherwise, you don't have any footage. Let's use this one too. This one's good, I guess. And we need one last one. This one should be good, I guess. Hopefully. Okay, let's cut it right here. And we oh, we have 30 seconds left to adjust all the clips. And obviously, you can see he's moving a lot. So let's see what we can do. We're going to start by putting this one in the middle. I'm gonna, I guess we're going to have to set a keyframe because he moves. See, he doesn't stay in frame. So let's see. We got. Oh, yeah. We definitely have to adjust that so that he stays in frame. We have. 15 seconds left, so let's go to the other clip. Make sure that they are nice and center. Okay, we have to drag this one ahead a bit, because otherwise it's gonna look bad. What about this one? Okay, we have five seconds. Oh no, it's not good. Okay, let's put this one a bit more to the... Okay, it's two minutes, I can't change it. Uh, so this is what we got. Now we gotta go to adding Twixer. So for that, obviously we're gonna cut one of the clips right here, and now we're gonna start pre-composing them. In my case, I'm gonna use Twixer Pro. So I'm gonna drag it onto this clip. I'm gonna put the frame rate down. Oh my God, I have 40 seconds left. Um, this setting, we're gonna put like this. And now we're gonna set a speed keyframe at the beginning, 250. I'm gonna go to the middle. This is gonna be the fastest Twix I've ever made. 60. Now we're gonna go to the end of the clip again and put it back to 250. We've got 20 seconds left to do the graphs because obviously leaving it like this would, would just make us look like we're CapCut editors and we don't want that. Oh my God, uh, 15 more seconds. Let's put it something like this. We're gonna do this roughly the same. I hope this doesn't look too bad now. Okay, we changed it. So uh, now we're gonna go to adding blur more curves to make the zooms. I can't even talk, this is so stressful, I swear. Okay, we're within the three minute mark. So this is not that bad. We're gonna put it to 2 0 0.85 at the beginning. Okay, I'm gonna go to the end. I'm gonna make zoom out. So I think that would kind of fit the audio and stuff. And I don't have really time to change it now. So let's easy ease this and also change these graphs. Put, oh no, put this one a bit up like that so it's fast and this one we're gonna drag slowly down this should be good and we are 30 seconds left to apply them to all the other clips which should be fine bro my, my pc is way too slow look at this this takes like five minutes to apply the effect we still have to adjust the keyframes because obviously they're not gonna match we've got 15 seconds now we have to drag them all by holding down alt we can stretch them out which is a very good invention in my opinion okay we got it we got a fitting so that's something good okay we got four minutes we got one minute left to do the intro so let's pre-compose this we're gonna add a nice so we're gonna add a lens blur to make it look a bit more intriguing because I don't really have a choice to add anything else. Okay, we're gonna put this a bit down actually, put it like this. And uh, we're gonna put some nice transition here because obviously you have zooms, zoom outs and otherwise it's gonna look a bit stiff and it transitions from nothing into zooming. So we're gonna, let's put it like, uh, I guess this. We're gonna go to motion tile, drag this on here, 250, 250 mirror edges. I'm gonna go here and then easy ease. I'm gonna make this something like that. So this should be fine. Now as well, we're gonna add some opacity, just like this, but we're not gonna put it to zero. Let's put it to like 60, should be fine around that range. And we're gonna 
also just to graph a bit. So, oh no, let's put it like this. I'm really low on time, I think. I'm gonna add a fading in at the beginning as well. Let's put it like this. And obviously we have to loop our clips. I almost forgot that so that we don't just end our edit. So let's put it like this, go to the end, cut it right here. And now we're gonna, oh my God, I forgot a watermark. We can't have the CapCut editor steal our edit. So let's add a watermark. We're gonna have to drag this all the way up. Let's center it and um, put it to overlay. We're gonna search for, oh no, what did I do? Drop shadow, drag this here and put this eight, five and 100. Okay, khalas, we're done. Guys, we are at 5 minutes and 34 seconds. I guess you guys will be getting some free presets now. But before I tell you how you can get them, let's take a look at our edit. I don't know, man. I think if I would post this, people would definitely think I'm on CapCut. And I have absolutely no clue if you guys understood anything I said during this edit. Because my head was all over the place, okay? So don't judge me for that. And now go ahead and comment down below how long this edit would take you. Because from all the comments on this video, I will choose out one random winner. And they will get some premium presets from myself. Click here if you want to learn how to edit. Assalamu alaikum and see you next time.